Hi, everyone, and welcome to another session, um, AMA session here at Crypto Miners. My name is Jenny, and I'm going to be your host, as usual. And on today's session, we're going to be talking with the team from Chainback. Um, so what, what Chainback is offering is like is, is a data storage and um, sort of sharing platform. So um, if you are new to any of our, ses- uh, any of our sessions, please... Um, you know, do well to stay till the end of the session. And um, if you have any questions uh, regarding the project, uh, we will try to take it. You can leave it in the comment section or um, you could indicate uh, by using the request button and we'll try to take your question. Also, please note that um, there is a live stream, a Binance live stream currently ongoing. And um, you can find the link uh, to the live session on the the announcement for this Twitter space, uh, a, a, a live session, a Binance live session running concurrently with the Twitter space. So um, if you would like to join also, you could find the link um, on the uh, announcement for this Twitter space, All right? So welcome once again to everyone and um, we will wait for the team to join us and then we can begin shortly. Um. Hi. Um, I see that the Chainback team is here now. So please, if you can hear me, um, let me know um, so that we can proceed. Hello, hello. Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you. Great, I can hear you. Awesome. Yeah, perfect, um, perfect. Sorry, sorry, sorry about the delay. Uh, I didn't have a, a logged in on my phone, so we didn't know that. Uh, from the computer, you can um, participate as a speaker. So, uh, I, my apologies. Sure, it's great to have you here. Welcome. Thank you for hosting. All right. So, um, we have lost a lot of time. So, um, let's just you know jump right in. Yeah, let's so, okay. jump right in. Okay. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so um, everyone who has um, uh, been patient with us, thank you so much for waiting. Um, the chain back team is here and um, yeah, we can we can begin. Um, so Mr. Fileer, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Fileer. Yeah, Fileer. Filey. Okay, Filey. All right. Uh, Mr. Filey is the co-founder of um, Chainback, and he's going to be um, chatting with us. So um, could you please uh, give us a, like a quick introduction, very quick introduction of the team, um, the team behind uh, Chainback, and then we can dive right into the overview real quick. Yeah, so my background is in crypto since 2017, been investing mainly in trading. So we teamed up with a uh, professional devs, uh, Web2, Web3 devs. We have a um, um, huge experience um, in building everything, all different kind of stuff. Uh, so my, our new colleague, Elliot, she's listening here. Yeah, but she she she's she supposed to give the intro, but we lost time, so we just move on. So that's briefly about us. Um, so yeah, and then this is our first project together, and we have successfully built Adapt is working, so yeah, that's a brief intro. All right, thank you. Um, let me just you know go straight to the uh, the questions. Um, so I know that um, Chainback is you know your main it is about to go live, right? Um, but before we come to that and the implications of that on the project, um. I would like to ask some, should I say, uh, basic questions about the project, just so that um, those of us who are not yet familiar with the project can really understand what it's about. So um, how does Chainback leverage um, IPFS, you know, to ensure um, to ensure decentralized and secure document uh, storage and sharing? Uh, so yeah, we built uh, file sharing uh, on IPFS as underlying uh, protocol. So this this works. Uh, it's it's much safer and uh, it's a decentralized um, a protocol. Basically, uh, uh, com- nodes of computers are uh, your your file is uh, encrypted and distributed to all over the network, and nodes of computers hold a piece of of your uh, file. And when you decrypt them through Chainback, 
uh, you can download the, it's de de decrypted and uh, yeah, so so that's how it works. Uh, that's underlying uh, protocol IPFS interplanetary file system for yeah, IPFS for short. All right. Um. Um. What would you say, or should I say, um, what advantages, right? Um, does a Web three based like approach offer over over traditional um, document storage solutions? Uh, so, yeah, as as everywhere in the space, so it's decentralized. So there's no one single entity that controls the network. So um, that is first one that is more safer. Um, it's encrypted as well. Um, so yeah, basically it's uh, kind of, uh, and you can see it's transparent. You can see uh, on Etherscan that it's uh, like when it's interacted and shared the files, you can see the hashes there. You can find even if uh, something happens to chain back, if you shared your files, you can still find them on Etherscan, uh, encrypted version and uh, the hashes you can find on uh uh, you can find on Etherscan the hash of IPFS, and you can always get it from IPFS as well. So, um, yeah, those are main um, benefits, uh, security um, and uh, distributed, decentralized. So, so these are the main, I think. All right. Um, uh, let, let me ask on the aspect of, you know, scalability, especially when it comes to on large number of users and documents. So how are you going to handle uh, potential um, scalability uh, challenges, uh, especially when dealing with large number of users and documents? Um, so yeah, uh, IPFS is, um, the, so it's, it's a network of computers. The more, uh, the more network uh, it grows, the, the, the larger files and the more um, people will be able to to share, but we just using that protocol. So our platform, you can uh, share files for free. It, this is the basic version. You can share the files for free. It generates uh, a hash and uh, and a link. It's like a link with that link. You can uh, just access the file and download. Um, so so far, um, there's no limits on uh, on the file uh, size and. Um, so yeah, that's 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 uh, that's up to IPFS protocol. So we didn't build IPFS. Uh, IPFS is a is a uh, you can build on top of it. It's like a like a blockchain. You can you can build. So we use that protocol to build on top of it. All right. Let's talk about your main app. You know that's going live. Um, could you tell us more about that first of all? And then I think. Um, you know, secondly, um, now that the minute is about to go live, what um, what incentives or should I say uh, mechanisms, I don't know if I'm using the wrong word, but what incentives are provided to sort of encourage users to, um, you know, participate and use uh, Chainback as, you know, storage providers? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, very good question. Thank you. Um, so we have built amazing tool on top of that. Uh, so um, I wish I could share the screen, but it's not possible. Uh, we, um, another time, maybe we'll run another I'm on different uh, platform. But yeah, it's uh, the basic file sharing is very easy. With a few clicks, you can share the files. You don't even need to connect the wallet. But we built the revolutionary chain back sign where you actually sign in with your wallet, you can see the files that you have shared and uh, you need to, uh, to, to uh, for example, you can set up uh, particular um, access settings, uh, for example, uh, for Web3 communities, Web3 projects, where you um, uh, add a contract address and only like, let's say you can set up for uh, such amount of, uh, token holders only can, let's say 1% of token holders can access that file. Um, so yeah, I think that will be very useful, new way of, um, new and fun way to interact with the community. So for the projects, they will be able to share, uh, let's say valuable insights only with, um, let's say 1% of token holders 
the largest token holder. So um, that way it will be it. It will encourage other one other other holders to top the, top up their wallets and and get insights early. Um, also, it, it can be very useful for DAOs with chain back sign. Um, there will be a, there is a chain back sign where you will have to sign the uh, signatures from the wallets, and there you can see who signed the file uh, and who downloaded, who signed it, and then you can collect those uh, wallet uh, information as well, um, who who signed, and uh, you can vote on some matters with that with signatures like yes or no. Um, also, it can be uh, used for airdrops. For example, if you want to do some airdrops for your only active community members, not all the wallets, so you encourage them to uh, sign uh, a transaction on 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 the um, uh, on on these settings, and then uh, you collect those addresses, and then you can conduct the airdrop uh, only to, for example, uh, selected ones who signed, or like let's say one percent of token holders, or like there are various ways to use, to use it. It's like a tool. So, yeah. All right. Um, thank you for answering that. Now, um, I would like to ask, um, are there cost implications for, for users, like when utilizing um, the chain back document storage and sharing service on your platform? Like, um, are there cost implications or is it free? for all to use? So free is only um, a basic uh, file sharing like that anyone can use for free. It's you basically interact with IPFS through Chainback uh, platform. You just, it's, it's just basic. You upload the file, you share the link and someone with the link will, will be able to download. But to add these settings, let's say uh, for token holders, for, for NFT holders, for specific addresses, uh, all these will cost um, a little fee. Um, at the moment, that fee is 10,000 archive tokens, which is like $2. Um, all these fees will be burned. Um, so that will be uh, positive for, for, for token holders. It will be deflationary with, an ado with adoption as well. Um, so yeah, there will be a little fee. Maybe they will stay the same. Maybe we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, uh, for, for those... Um, uh, access settings, uh, customizable file access settings, you you will have to pay a little fee. Jenny? Okay, well, well, Jenny is away. Um, also, I can um, tell you a little bit more about our upcoming pro uh, product that is coming out. So with the chain back paid signatures, um, that will be uh, revolutionary. Uh, with those, everyone will be able uh, to monetize their um, file sharing. Let's say it will be very useful for let's say AI researchers, blockchain researchers, or some influencers to share insights. So with paid signatures, uh, you will be able to set up a paid uh, signature to collect the signature with the fee. The fee will be, it will be up to file um, uploader who will share the file that will be up to them. Uh, so, and they will collect the, uh, revenue straight directly into the wallet. Uh, so that's uh, that's upcoming um, uh, product. We are so excited about it. I think that will be a game changer for for the space. Any more questions, Jenny? All right. Okay. So I guess. I can, so yeah, well, I can explain a little bit more. We have uh, also Explorer. Um, you can find uh, the file share, the files that that was shared on Explorer. Um, that is very useful as well. You can see the 
you can see what you have shared, you can see what others have shared, and but obviously you you won't have access, or you will if you if you if you um, comply with the settings that has been set up. Um, tokenomics. Um, so the tokenomics will be uh, fees will be burned. That will. Um, uh, that will grow uh, the whole uh, token, archive token, um, the value. So it will add value to uh, to our uh, investors. Uh, it will be very positive for the growth. Jenny, are you still there? I hope you can hear me. I can see my microphone is, uh, but yeah. And can you hear me, guys? Nice. Okay. So yeah, while um, Jenny is away, mm, let me explain a little bit. Uh, tell me, tell you about our future plans. So um, the platform is live now. You can. Uh, feel free, uh, go and use it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you can jump into the Telegram group. Uh, so um, we'll be happy to answer. Mm. So the paid signatures are coming out soon. Uh, also, I didn't mention, um, yeah, I forgot to mention in the beginning that we have built um, Yana AI chatbot that is in, a, in our Telegram group. Uh, that is also one of our products products that will be released uh, for for wider public to use as well in their um, uh, in their telegram uh, chat so it will it will be able to set up as a uh, as assistant so you can teach her uh, about your uh, project and then you can uh, then she can answer all the questions related to the project or not even related to the project. It's a fun way to interact. Um, community loves it. Uh, another great product that's in the pipeline um, is uh, chain back escrow contracts that will be uh, the contract that two parties will be able uh, to set on chainback platform and uh, there will be with the locked value that will be able to lock value in the contract and set up the, the right settings so when all those settings are applied and uh, are done the value will be released to the party that um, is negotiated beforehand so so that is another product in the pipeline then uh, our future plans now after after um, platform is live now, we're gonna uh, push for adoption, more marketing, more AMAS, regular uh, partnerships, collaborations. We have few partners already. Uh, we've been um, doing some collaborations before. So we will be looking for new partnerships that will be using our platform maybe to implement in their projects as well. So that is a, that is happening uh, as we speak. And uh, also when, when the fees will be too high, uh, when, when the bull market will, will be in, uh, in full. So we are planning also when the platform will be completely completed with all the features that, that I just mentioned, we will be looking for uh, to migrate to other chains like L2s or, or, or L1s um, that are cheaper that are cheaper to use for for the for the for the more adoption and for for cheaper cheaper fees. So so far, what we have achieved, we uh, as I said, we created Yana. And that's in our chat, uh, Telegram chat. Go and chat with her as well. Uh, we have uh, staking pools. 
uh, archive um, token holders can stake their tokens with no lock, uh, lock um, um, with, with no time lock, so you can stake, you can uh, cash out any time. Um, so yeah, uh, platform is ready. Uh, we have uh, we are listed everywhere on CoinGecko, Coin Market Cup, um, and uh, all other Crypto.com and other and other platforms. Uh, in the future, we'll be also thinking of listing on uh, Sexes uh, CEX as well. Um, so yeah, um, big things are happening. We're so excited. We've been working uh, on this since December, and uh, the product is uh, finally ready and out. And feel free, uh, go and have fun, share files. Uh, it's free. Um, with the basic ones, use the you can use the um, customizable settings. That is fun as well to interact with with your communities, share some insights or you know um exclusive content and wait for the um, chain back paid signatures that's come that's are coming out very soon and that will be uh for wider adoption for web 2 web 3 influencers you name it everyone will be able to use it and monetize on on um on their files or content or whatever so imagine like decentralized only fans but so that's that's the future that's the future what that's what chain back holds all right um i guess i covered everything um don't know what happened to jenny um uh, unfortunately i cannot i guess yeah i'm not the host i uh, won't be able to <laughs> to give you permission to ask any questions. So hopefully Jenny comes up. Um, yes, I'm um, sorry for that um, little break. Are you still there? Um, are you still there? All right, I'm sorry for that um, little break. Um, so um, we'll be proceeding to um, the live questions. We will bring up um, persons to ask question, pressing question. Um, I'll just go ahead and unmute some persons. Let's start with um Julian. Yeah, but um in the meantime, in case you um see anybody in the audience you would want me to unmute, you can just um, mention their name and I'll unmute them. Yes, um Julian okay, yeah. is up. That's Julian, fine. you can go ahead and ask your question. Um, Julian, are you there? Can you hear me? Uh, I think. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, all right. Um, I think Julian is having connection issue. Um, yeah, I, I can hear you. I can okay. hear you. 
Yes, please ask your question. Yeah, um, thank you for bringing me on, for giving me this opportunity. My question is, I want to know what are some um, partnerships and collaboration which um, Chain Back Web has actually achieved, which has like brought proper development to the growth and development of the project? Thank you. That's my question. Thank you, Julian. Yeah, at the moment we have a few uh, micro caps uh, like NERF. Uh, they do uh, some NER, um, 3D AI imagery. We have uh, Archive AI that is uh, doing very similar to us. They, they archive and uh, work with AI. Um, they archive the blockchain data and work with AI. So. Uh, it's an interesting project. You can have a look. Um, well, in the future, we have a few in a pipeline as well that will there are waiting uh, for uh, our platform to be live, which is now. So um, uh, new partnerships will be coming out um, w very soon, and we will be try to work with uh, some uh, good NFT projects um, uh, and other. Uh, other big uh, tokens that would big to the communities that will be able to use our platform to share insights and stuff like that. So that's all in the, uh, in our uh, marketing pipeline. Um, are you still there? Because I really can't hear you. Can anybody yeah, yeah, hear me? I'm, all right, I'm, all right. Oh, great, great, can, great. Can you hear me? Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. I can. Um, you oh. kind of caught off at some points, right. but I think you got um the major aspect of his question. Um, next we'll be going with um Pepe, I think um Bitcoin Pizza, Pepe Hi, Yeah, uh, yeah. My, can you hear me? Yeah. Um, you can go ahead with your question. All right. My question is, uh, how does your project uh, comply to the regulatory standard? Yeah, very good question. Uh, yeah, we are um, GDPR compliant. Uh, so our platform is safe to use. Uh, it uses underlying uh, protocol, uh, which is IPFS, that is also uh, compliant with all the privacy and uh, privacy laws, basically. So yeah, it's pretty much... Um, it's it's compliant. All right. That's amazing. Thank you very much for the answer. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Pepe, for the answer, uh, um, for the question. Um, that was a really great question. Um, next, we have um, Web3Bs. Web3Bs, you can ask your question. Yeah, I'm available. Yeah, 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 you are. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Go ahead with your question. I just want to uh, ask my question is that uh, I don't know if uh, the project has been integrated into Web3, and uh, if yes, uh, what are those, uh, how can I put it, what are those um, um so, sorry about that um i think he wasn't really paying attention but if you have something to say about it maybe you can just quickly go over it yeah sure uh, i'll answer your question yeah it is web3 project so uh, all the functions um what is Web3? Basically, you have your decentralized wallet, you connect to the, our platform and use our DAP. So we are uh, a Web3 project. And uh, also we are building now that anyone will be able to use like Web3, Web2 communities. So Web2 will be, will, they will still be uh, asked to, yeah, so, they will still be have they will still have to use web3 technology to use our platform so it's yeah the answer is yes we are web3 project all right um thank you very much um the next it's um kosman kosman can you go ahead and ask your question uh goody um thank you for this wonderful opportunity notes um thank you for bringing me on 
So uh, it's been, well, it's been a very informative year so far. So I wanted to know if there was going to be a cap to the number of files uh, users can upload on that on chain back. And also, would there be any uh, hourly or minute duration in which files or content uploaded mustn't exceed? Thank you. Thank you very much. Very good question. Uh, at the moment, uh, uh, there's no limit. So you can upload any size of file, any amount of files. Uh, and you can use it for free. So how IPFS works, which is underlying protocol. So it, sh it, it stores your files in this distributed manner. It, they are encrypted, they're sharded and distributed uh, over the network of the computers. So with IPFS, uh, your files, if, you, if they're not interacted for a long period of time, uh, they will be uh, removed from the, from the storage because you know, the storage cost and stuff like that. So, but if you use Chainback, um, Chainback platform, we have special measures that uh, we have uh, built systems that with every files that's been shared through uh, Chainback, uh, they've been automatically interacted with our system. So that way they don't disappear. So I hope this answers your question. Mm, I think that's yeah, that's you answer the question, and that was pretty um great because um getting to trace back files, it's really really important because I think one of the major thing people lose sometimes are important files, even when they store them somewhere, they get corrupted or some virus or stuff like that. I think what you guys are doing is really really great. Um, up next we have um band. Um, but you can go ahead with your question. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yes, but, uh... yeah. Can I ask a question now? Go ahead. Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. So I just want to know about the. Is there any kind of fees that are associated with using? Chain back and also if users have suggestions and uh, how do they get it across to the to the team and uh, to the team and um, yeah if users have suggestions how can they get it to the team thank you thank you very much for your question so yeah tokenomics is um, so we have built in a four percent tax that we use for development, uh, marketing, uh, burning, stuff like that. Also to use, to interact with our platform, there, there is a small fee to create, for example, the link with the, with the custom access settings. There's like a little fee of $3 at the moment, like it's 10,000 um, chain back to, uh, archive tokens. And all these platform fees that we, that we will be uh, generating from adoption, those will be burned. So it will be a positive uh, buy pressure for, for, for the chain bank and good for, chain, uh, for, for archive token and good for um, archive holders. That's great. That's great. Um, thank you very much. Um, I think you gave a very, very detailed answer to that question. I also love... Um, the, the 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 mechanism which you guys are using to ensure that this token stayed valuable. Um, up next we have um Alicia. Alicia, you can ask your question. Um, okay, thank you very much for bringing me on. So my question is, from your roadmap, what are some of those valuable or important features that you have achieved that could actually onboard more customers or more clients to your project? Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so we have built um, a basic uh, file sharing platform, uh, which is based on IPFS. So anyone can use that. Um, it's for free. Any uh, size of file you can upload, uh, download. So that is already there. You can go and go ahead. You can um, go on chainback.org and start using it. There is a DAP. And these other features that is um, uh, custom access features for more like for web uh, 
three communities, projects, and or specific, let's say, um, wallet addresses that you can set up only for those um, for them to you to be able to download the file. As I, as I mentioned earlier, that is very useful uh, tool for, like, say, a new way of interacting with with the web web three communities, for example, NFTs. Uh, NFT holders will be only able to access those files or or, or token holders with a spe uh, specific amount or specific addresses. So this is this is will be very useful. So yeah, I hope this answers your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I believe it does. Um, just a quick reminder, everyone. Um, do well to follow the the chain back main Twitter handle, which is this one. They are speaking from and also um retweet the space i would check if you want if not retweeted the space or follow them you won't um qualify for the reward um up next we have um kfars kfars you can ask your question or oh, cypher sorry cypher hello can you hear me yeah 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 we can hear you my question is, what are the marketing strategies and programs you are plan planning to attract new users? Yeah, thank you for your question. Um, so, yeah, we will be, uh, as I said, today's uh, uh, product launch, um, mainnet launch. So we will be doing AMAS. We will um, do collaborations. We will do partnerships with other projects. We will... Um, showcase our platform, uh, allow them to use um, cross-community promotions. Um, so yeah, all that stuff and giveaways as usual. We do um, um, community interactions, biggest buy uh, competitions, all that that we did, we have done already. So yeah, we now it's the phase for adoption and marketing, and we are taking this really seriously. This is the next next step that we're gonna. That we're going to be pushing very hard and also as i mentioned before the we will be burning fees we will be doing regular alert burns so that will add value to the uh, archive token holders also you can stake on our platform we have available pools uh if those pools will be filled up we we will uh we can open new pools so um yeah a, a lot of stuff going on um, new features will be rolled out and uh, with new features, new marketing campaigns and stuff like that. So stay tuned, join our Telegram group. Uh, any questions you can ask there, there's always uh, our, our team working 24 seven. So yeah, we'll be happy to see you there. Right, great, great, great. That's um, amazing. Um, so the next would be aim high. Hello, uh, thanks so much for giving me the mic. And I just want to know, can you tell us more? Hi, is, hi is, sorry. How open is your project to partner with uh, other projects? And what are the criteria you look out for in a project before you can partner with them? Thank you very much for your question. Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Hello, yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, thank you for your question. Um, yeah, we are open for partnerships with um, most of the projects, as long as they are long-term um, kind of serious projects, we are happy to for them to use our platform, obviously, but we, we are happy to collaborate, do cross, uh, cross community promotions and stuff like that. We've been, we've been partnering with a few projects earlier. So, but uh, now we last few few weeks, uh, I would say we were focusing mainly on this uh, platform launch. So we didn't have uh, many uh, more partnerships, but we have we have recently partnered with uh, uh, Alt Alpex Plugs, that's marketing uh, company that that will be helping to push as well um, marketing in terms of marketing. So. Uh, yeah, we're open for any kind of collaborations. Feel free to join our Telegram group and talk to the team. All right, all right. Um, that's great. Um, so I don't know, do you have time for a um, couple of uh, maybe a few more questions or is there some, somewhere you would like to be? Because um, there are other requests here. 
a lot of them. So should I bring up more persons or do you have somewhere to be? Yeah, yeah, no, uh, go ahead. Yeah, we are, we are open to your questions. We'll be happy to answer all of them. All right, all right, all right. Um, so before before I bring up um, more individual, can you maybe just share a little bit more on um, the technal technicalities of your project so um, people can get to know more about it with just the technicalities the technologies you guys used in um, establishing these projects and the main motivation right okay very good question uh, so yeah uh, my background myself uh, I'm not uh, uh, in, in, in tech, I'm not a developer, but we have a team of developers. So we have built uh, Chainback on IPFS, um, which is an interplanetary file sharing um, system uh, that is underlying protocol that we have built this application called Chainback. So um, we have basic file sharing, we have uh, customizable access um, for file downloads um so so those are technical things that are in that are those applications interact with the blockchain with ipfs and also with chainback platform there are hashes generated there is uh, cryptography involved um yeah so that is like surface um basic <laughs> like to, to understand uh for 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 average person but into the technicalities of the, um, uh, it's it's not my profession. It's not my it's not my field. Uh, going the, the deeper than this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you did a really great job. <laughs> you re- did a really great job. Um. So um. Thank cons- you very much. Yeah. Concerning the NFC, is there a um possibility of one ending passively from just holding the NFT? Because I know the NFT we actually designed to function within chain back. But is there a possibility of like owning this NFT and trading them like a regular NFT, or maybe having staking mechanisms for them, or being able to stake these NFTs? Mm-hmm. Good question. I understand. So. Uh, to be clear, we don't have, uh, we have not released any NFTs. Um, this is mainly a tool. Uh, so, to explain to you in a layman terms, uh, this is a tool that NFT projects can use. For example, they will have to set up a settings that only their NFT holders will be able to access that file, or for example, only their NFT holders one of 10, one of 100, like top 100 will be able to access that file, which gives a um, new way of interact with the communities, Web3 communities, for example, Web3 projects like NFT projects or uh, ERC20 uh, projects. They want to share some insights with a group of whales, for example, and they can do that publicly by, by announcing look, we are sharing our insights. There's a, like, let's say white paper is coming out, but it's not ready yet, but we will share with the, with the, with the top holders only. So this is done publicly. They share the link in a group. And with that link, there is a settings. Everyone who goes on that link, only specific token holders or NFT holders will be able to access and see that information that they shared. So this is how it works. All right. So um, is there a possibility of having direct access to this file, maybe um, being able to make a, a editing on these files by any individual who can access this file? Or does that come from only the owner of that file? Uh, sorry, could you repeat this question? I, I didn't completely get it. Yeah, um, concerning maybe um, if I should um, send a file through um, Chainback and then people who have access to this file are only a specific holders of NFT. So is there a possibility of 
an individual holding that NFT who have access to this file for to be able to maybe make editing on that file or temper with those files? Uh, yeah, good question. I understood. Uh, yeah, so they will be able to share that file. Obviously, when they download, they will be able to distribute further as they wish, basically. So it's like, uh, but only them will be able to access that file. So yeah, it, it can be leaked, obviously, but they will be only act, uh, they will be able to access to download it. So once they in the computer, they can you know distribute further. All right. So um, one last question. Um, consigning the onboarding or the seamless um, onboarding of um, individuals who are not yet fully aware of the potential of Web3 or who are not, who are not knowledgeable in the aspect of Web3. So um, what is Chimbak doing to help these individuals come into Web3? Very good question. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so as, as I said, um, uh, we are building now tool that we, we believe it will be uh, revolutionary also for Web2 communities, influencers. So, uh, which means they will be able to, obviously they will have to interact with Web3 technology, which is Chainback, and they will be able to set up a signatures, paid signatures, uh, to collect like a fees for every for each download, they want to download like uh, some insights. I mean, what they want to share some insights of their or, or exclusive content or research papers. Um, so and they can generate uh, revenue straight into their wallet. So I believe uh, this will be a revolutionary for for anyone to use for any influencers for researchers. Um, chain back sign. With paid signatures, well, uh, it's going to be like a marketplace for for digital content. Mm, that's that's really great. Um, so, um, is there um, what aspect of this project, Chimbak as a whole, excites you the most? If I may ask. Sorry, could you repeat that? Uh, my line was. Yeah, right um, I mean, what aspect of Chimbak excites you the most? So, what the most, I think, paid signatures that will be revolutionary and uh, escrow contracts with a locked in value that will be as well for Web3. It's like uh, right now to deal with uh, unknown P persons like P2P deals uh, sometimes. They go wrong. Sometimes you get scammed, you know. So we chain back uh, escrow contracts. Uh, so once the lock, uh, value will be locked in the contract, if the um, criteria has not met, uh, no one is getting access to the value. So both parties will be able will have to agree on on the to finalize to to be able to access the the value. Um, so that that is in still in development phase. I don't want say too much about it but that's basically principle the idea that uh, p2p will be able to lock the value in a contract uh, receive signatures from both sides and then the, the the value will be released that way you can avoid a lot of scams so which uh, the space is unfortunately full of Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's really great. You've given us a lot already. Um, so I think that's with that said, um, we've come to the end of today's session. Um, sorry for the delays. So, um, is there anything you would love to tell us? Maybe something we haven't spoken about, and you'd love to share before um we wrap up the space. Yeah, um, thank you very much for hosting. Thanks for having us. Uh, I think we covered a lot. We covered pretty much everything. And I welcome everyone to our Telegram group where uh, I'm interacting there every day, answering questions. There's our team as well, um, moderators, everyone. Um, it's a fun place to be. So uh, feel free to jump in, share your memes, ask questions, interact with uh, Yana, our uh, AI assistant. So yeah. Thanks for thanks for